So today I'm going to be talking about the queen of sex and rock and roll. Her name is Janis Joplin. She was born January 19th, 1943 in Port Arthur, Texas. As most people know, Joplin had broke ground for women in rock music. Her love for music began when she was a young girl and it started when she was singing in the choir for her church. As a young girl, Joplin was fairly popular until she turned 14 and she had hit puberty and with her puberty she got acne and there was weight gain and in that time period of her life those types of things were typically shamed and you would pretty much be shamed for the way that you look even though you couldn't help it. With this Joplin decided that she was going to rebel. In her time period there was a lot of standards for women and they had to address specific ways where they would be shamed. Joplin being the woman that she was, she decided to wear predominantly male clothing as well as wearing short skirts which gave people the idea that she was sexually promiscuous while she was a young girl. Joplin really liked to stand out from the crowd and with her love for music and art, she didn't really do well in a college setting. She kind of went off the rails, so to speak, and started to start drinking and she was hanging out with a lot of guys which also gave people the idea that she was sexually promiscuous and she had went to two colleges and left both of those to be part of the music scene. Joplin rose to fame in the late 1960s because people were inspired and they loved her blues inspired vocals. She had went to different areas of the country that are fairly popular with music and where music is booming and she tried going solo and that didn't necessarily work out for her the way that she wanted so she joined the band Big Brothers and The Holding Company. She was with Big Brothers for a fairly long time and became really close to the boys in the band and she eventually decided that it was her time to go off on her own and she left the band singing her last time December 1968. Joplin necessarily had her biggest upbringing when she sang I Got Them Cosmic Blues Again Mama at Woodstock in 1969 with Cosmic Blues. People at Woodstock were very hippie so to speak and were very in touch and in tune with music in that time period. And obviously with the late 1960s and 70s um, drugs were very popular and people were doing them fairly often and that got Joplin wrapped up in becoming an alcoholic and drug user. Out inside of music she was all about the music, she was cool, calm, collected, knew what she was doing, but outside of music she was really struggling with alcohol and drug usage including an addiction to heroin. Although Joplin was becoming very famous with her music and her abilities, she accidentally overdosed on heroin at a hotel in the Hollywood's landmark hotel um, and she ended her career that way. Um, although she had passed, producers still released her music and the latest being 1999, although she died October 4th, 1970, she still had music coming out over 20 years later and showing people the skills that she has and letting people love her music. So all in all, Janis Joplin was a very popular and well-known music artist back in the 1960s and 70s and was still booming in the 90s. Um, she was known as the queen of sex and rock and roll because she was in fact sexually promiscuous and um, she was booming in the rock and roll industry and she broke the standards for women and allowed other women to be inspired by her rebelling. I personally think that she is an amazing artist and her music is very from the heart and I think she is a great role model for females in the rock industry.